Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. When you buy a motorhome, one major decision you need to make is whether you're going to tow a vehicle behind the motorhome or not. All I can say is it's sure nice to have economical transportation when you arrive at your camping destination. If you decide to tow a vehicle, the next step is selecting the vehicle. If your plans are to tow the vehicle with all four wheels down, the vehicle you select needs to have that capability. Automobile manufacturers include this information in the owner's manual, and there are reputable internet sites that publish towing guides. I personally tow older model CJ7 Jeeps. If you prefer something a little newer and possibly more reliable, the Jeep Wrangler makes a nice tow vehicle. It's not that heavy and it can be towed with all four wheels down. After you select a tow vehicle, you need to prep it for towing. By prepping it, I mean having a base plate installed that the tow bar connects to, wiring the lights, and selecting some type of supplemental braking system. Today we're going to install a base plate on this Jeep Wrangler Sport. Enough said, let's start working. Note, Blue Ox towing products and accessories are intended to be installed by Blue Ox dealers who are familiar with our products and have the equipment and knowledge necessary to do fit work. If you are not comfortable doing the work, take it to a reputable Blue Ox installer. Always follow the Blue Ox installation instructions. We are using a Blue Ox base plate because the owner of the vehicle already has a tow bar compatible with Blue Ox products. We also have a Blue Ox tail light wiring kit. Tools required for today's job. Large vice grips, utility knife, Phillips head screwdriver, torque wrench, drill, tape measure, lock tight red, a 17 32nd drill bit, an 18 millimeter socket, a 3 quarter socket, and a 15 16 socket. Use the lock tight red on all of the mounting hardware. Using a screwdriver, remove the four push pins from the bottom of the belly pin. There are two on each side. Remove the two push pins from the tabs on the back side of the belly pin. Set the belly pan aside. Disconnect the fog lights from the back side of the bumper. Using an 18 millimeter socket, remove the two bolts on the outside edge of the frame. Do this on both sides of the vehicle. Using an 18 millimeter socket, remove the two bolts on the inside edge of the frame. Do this on both sides of the vehicle. Pull the bumper forward and disconnect the clips from the wiring loom running along the back side of the bumper. Set the bumper aside. On 2010 models and newer, align the base plate's lower hole with the existing middle hole in the frame. Ensure the base plate is level with the frame and clamp it in place with the vice grips. Do this on both sides of the vehicle. Insert the 5 8 inch whiz nut into the frame end and align with the middle hole. Install the 5 8 inch by 1 and inch hex bolt and 5 8 inch lock washer and tighten to the whiz nut. Do this on both sides of the vehicle. Using a 17 32nd drill bit, drill the top holes of the base plate through the frame. Install the spacer plate in between the base plate and the frame. Install the half inch by one and three quarter bolts with half inch lock washers through the base plate, spacer, and frame. Insert the half inch whiz nuts with wires on the inside of the frame. Do this on both sides of the vehicle. Reinstall the bumper and the wiring loom. Reconnect the fog lights. Attach the permanent base plate safety cable to the provided convenience link on the base plate. Follow the instructions for installation of the cables to the frame of the vehicle. Be sure the safety cables do not rub against any hoses or moving parts. Do this on both sides of the vehicle. Hold the belly pan up to its original position. Mark and trim a slot for the base plate end plate to come through using a utility knife. Do this on both sides of the vehicle. Slide the belly pan between the base plate, cross tube, and lower frame suspension. Allow the end plate to come through the slot and reinstall the belly pan to its original position. The Blue Ox base plate installation is complete. Keep in mind that every installation is different and requires different levels of knowledge and skills. 
After the base plate's installed, take a minute to register it at www.bluox.com. Whenever you tow a vehicle, always inspect all of the towing equipment for cracked welds, missing or worn parts, and loose bolts prior to leaving on a trip. If you're thinking about towing a vehicle behind your motorhome, the base plate installation gets you one step closer to doing it. Happy camping.